What is going on guys, it's the Crow Swanson coming at you with another life review on this wonderful world that we live in. And I haven't done one of these in a while, and I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I have a topic I really, really want to talk about, I feel is kind of important. Um, let's see, how do I start this off? Recently I've noticed the increase on uh, people that are single and people that are not single and in relationships. The percentage of people that are in relationships right now that are in high school or college or just in general is very small recently. It's like it maybe, I don't know, I don't know, maybe 60% and then the rate of singles has gone up to like 500. Like literally there's just that many singles. And there's this new skill that girls have obtained and men um, that it used to be the, whole, the simple talking thing where you talk to a girl, you say hi or even though you don't know who she is, she doesn't know who you are, and then you ask her out on a date. You say, hey, would you like to go on a date with me? And she'd say yes or no. And that'd be the end of it. But now, all of a sudden, it's like this. Hey, my name's uh, so-and-so. Um, I really like you. I think you're gorgeous. And I was wondering if you'd like to go on a date with me. Um, I can't because I don't know you. Now, I want to know when this started up, because I think it's ridiculous. So many guys have gotten turned down by this, and girls. Uh, like, girls will ask them the same thing. Sometimes the guy will be like, oh, I don't even know you, girl. I need to know you first, and stuff like that. Isn't that the purpose of a date, is to go up to that person and ask them out, and then go on a date with them to get to know them? Because it's not get to know them first, and then go on a date with them next. It's going to date with them and get to know them at the same time. That's the whole process. I hate this new freaking rule about relationships. I really don't like it at all. I find it really upsetting, depressing, and just sad. Because I'm just like, what? You need to know them before you date them? I thought it was before you got to know them when you dated them. That's how it went for me. For like, the longest time of me being in a relationship since middle school, I've gotten the same exact thing out of the relationship, is that I get to know the girl while I'm dating her. Like, I go on the date with the girl and get to know her. Not get to know her first, and then after that, um, bam, there it is. No, it's nothing like that. I just... Hmm... It's it's hard to explain. I mean, geez, this this is just ridiculous. I'm I'm not saying any of you guys are wrong for doing the way you do, but the the amount of singles is just growing because of you men and women out there being like that. That's not fair to the other person. That's kind of to be honest, that's kind of mean. I'm not gonna lie. That's actually really really mean, and I wish that would stop. Because I don't think it's fair to them, I don't think it's fair to you, I don't think it's fair in general that you don't give that person the chance that they want or need because they haven't been in a relationship for a really long time or are just really, really unhappy. And this is probably the only thing that will make them happy because they just want they just want a relationship, they just want to be loved. Like every other person in this world wants is just to be loved, that's all they ever want. But now this rule's coming out where you have to get to know the person before you date them instead of, getting, instead of going on a date with the person and knowing them at the same time, I just think that's kind of ridiculous. Um, and another thing I wanted to talk about was the amount of racism that's been going on. It's increasing badly. and. I mean, it was stupid because I was watching a bunch of YouTube videos of people doing trolls and voice um, changing and everything, like doing Jigglypuff and Donald Duck and stuff, and people are getting so mean to where they're just like, go fuck yourself and shit like that, and then there's this one trolling video of this gay thug on Swiftnade, if you know who he is. Um, this, he's been trolling guys that are racist, and they're like saying, oh, nigger, nigger, I'm, I'm sorry for that word, I'm just I'm just saying in, in like regular... Tone and everything like they're not using the guh, they're using the er at the end of it. Because it'd be funny if you said the guh at the end of that, but now they're just saying the er word at the end of it, and it's kind of. Really, and he says that he doesn't, he's not offended by any of this, but I know deep down he's probably really, really, really angry. And I would be angry if somebody was making fun of me for my racism. And like I'm Mexican on the inside, and then I'm pretty sure you probably people would be saying, 
well, you're too white to be freaking Mexican, and then I try and prove it to you, and then they, then they start being mean to me for being Mexican, saying, you spick, you this and this and that, and I don't think that's right, it's just rude, this, this world, I swear, is just getting so worse to where I can't even freaking function correctly in this world, like, I think that our world is literally just about to blow up, and I don't know what else to do about it. I mean, geez, it's just crazy. We got so much stuff going on. We got terrorists in Iraq. We got this stupid rule on dating. And then we got this this uh, racism on Xbox and Facebook and all the other stuff. We got so many problems, and it's just terrible. Well, that's all I have to share with you guys. If you guys enjoyed and agreed with anything I've said and that any of the things that I was talking about, people being racist and the girls and the guys being so needy and everything on dating, leave a comment, subscribe, and leave a like if you like. And I will see you guys in the next video.